Rob Lowe. Yeah. Rob Lowe. Check low. Ben Savage. I'm gonna put it down. Okay, one day. Because I, I, you know. Alimony. Check. Life insurance. Check. Child support. Check. Thank you for joining us on Canary Sessions. My name is Hudson, and today in the studio we have Empty. Thank you guys for joining us. So can you go down the line and introduce yourself for us? My name is Cody Constantine. I play bass. I am Gary Spears. I do vocals. Ian Moran. I play drums. Mitchell Mays. I play guitar. Awesome. So how did you guys meet? Um, me and... Um, I, I love that we'll just pass off. You were like, we'll start. Ian's got this. He's got this one. <laughs> I guess we'll start from uh, the first meeting. Uh, me and Mitch played um, in a band about three years ago called Hollow Eyes, and um, that band kind of broke up, and we left. And after that, um, I met Gary through our local music scene, and uh, we started playing in a band, and we both left that band, and we wanted to um, you know, start this band, so me and Gary started writing for this, and... Um, we met Cody on Craigslist. Yeah. It was actually Facebook. Yeah, it was a Facebook group for musicians looking for other musicians. The yeah. internet. So that was an uneventful meeting. <laughs> Steady, single man, ready to bring some bottom in to your low at, day. Low at boy. <laughs> oh, my. I will bring the rumble to your life. Winky face, winky face. Looking for a man with some strong finger action. Roar <laughs> XD. <laughs> we, um... We all four got together um, after our Craigslist meeting, and then we, uh, we started writing and uh, rehearsing together. Then uh, Mitch had moved to North Carolina, so we had got a different guitar player at that point, and um, we, we kept writing and um, put out an EP with a different guitar player. 
um, toured a little bit, and then Mitch found his way coming back into the band um, after being away for a little bit, and that's uh, where we are now as far as members. Awesome. What is your favorite show you all have ever played together? So uh, we're playing at this venue called the Calico Room oh, wow. in Wilmington, and um, uh, and it was for uh, for an emo night, um, and uh, we're playing our set, we're doing our thing, um, and uh, there's this big truss that they have all the stage lights on. So uh, I climb up on the truss. And, uh, well, actually, I climbed on the speakers, and the sound guy did not like that at all. So I jumped up and grabbed onto the truss, and somehow I, like, slammed my head onto one of the stage lights. And, like, we thought it was broken, but, like, it just got unplugged. But also during that same song, the, uh, the guitarist that we had at the time also kicked a hole in the drywall. Oh, my gosh. And uh, it, was, it was a really good show. I mean, there were a good lot of people there, and we sold a lot of merch, and it was just really memorable mostly because the owner banned us and she is still very very mad about it we would love to play there again though so, <laughs> so yeah. if you're watching this owner of the calico room we would love to play your venue again
I have a I have a quick question for you specifically. So like okay. I think almost every live video I've seen, you like take off your shirt and like go like just it go running really around hot. the room. Is that like your tradition, like every show? So I uh, I have this whole thing where like it's not even just for like to put on a show or whatever. I just could not imagine myself performing in any other way. That's my 25 to 30 minutes that I have to like not care about anything else in the world and to let every frustration and anything that's going on in my life just out in that one moment. So, and I think that's how we all feel. Like mm-hmm. people, you know, to us have said, ah, it's over the top, or you're just doing this for either views or, you know, to be gimmicky. But so, what us, if it's for the views? I mean, are you getting them? Yeah, you know, like for us, I mean, it's for icing us, on the cake. Yeah, for us, it was just like this is how individually we all kind of performed and how just we felt with the passion of us playing music and we all kind of came together and it just, you know, was us doing our thing and being honest. Yeah. Our shared favorite bands are like bands that like go crazy on stage, like the Chariot. Every I was, time I was I actually about to bring up the Chariot. We like, love the Chariot. The Chariot. The Chariot's one of the, I saw the Chariot. Back in 2012 and 2013. So us having so, the love for those bands, we're like, yeah, that's what we want to do. It looks like a lot of fun. The highest compliment that I think I've ever had personally played um, was the night when Gary, we did all that damage to the Calico room. Shane from a band called Alsana said, I haven't seen that much energy since we took the chariot out. And I took that so deep and personal because to think that somebody who had seen the world, who had traveled the world over and over, connected that with us. Mm-hmm. That, that, that filled me with emotion. I was very excited about that. Do you have a favorite show too, or is that one? I do. Nah. No, that's not my favorite show. You should tell them the one where I broke your bass. <laughs> I'm not <gonna> <laughs> oh, oh my god. So we had taken a hiatus from playing shows for about a month and a half, and we were playing this show at Deep South, which oh, is in yes, in Raleigh. And I'm very excited. First show, last show is a five piece, and I'm like, we're just gonna do it. We're we're a band called Empty. I'm just going to do my thing and get out of here. And uh, the first song, which is a song called For While You're Weak, Gary and I used to do this thing where we would switch instruments. I would take the mic and he would take my bass, and then Gary, in a very energetic fashion, used to spin it. As you do. As you do like, that, that thing you see from like mid 2000s, they like flip it over. And... You would do that? He, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that with the oh, bass. We, st- we he, still do I still that. do it. So I have no regrets. Hold on. I have no remorse. So. <laughs> I am on the ground, and these people who are at this venue, probably all, I would say, 75, are just in the back, cowering in fear at what they are witnessing. And I hear, and I turn around in that exact moment, and I see my very, my very beautiful bass, broken at the neck, hanging, and he hasn't realized what has occurred. And I say, through the house mic, Gary. I drop the mic and I sprint outside. And I remember throwing my hands up in the air and I said to myself, don't get angry now. Find a base. We'll talk about it later. So I walked in a circle and I run inside and our friend Jonathan from a band called Paperback is standing there with a base. And he goes, just don't break it. (laughs) So we finished the whole set without a hitch and that actually we ended up doing more damage to the base because during a song called Dangerous Repetitions, we just threw it sky in the air, just without remorse. And I still have that neck sitting in my room on a beautiful little pedestal. Oh, man. So I guess if we're going to talk about like the reason snap. So I was doing that whole thing where I flip it. I did not realize that there was a stage monitor right behind me. And oh, uh, the, where like the the headstock starts it like cracked right there and i mean it like exploded just explosion of strings and the look on his face was priceless he just held it in his hands like i just went picked up the mic finished off the song and i was like do do we still have a basis <laughs> Fuck!
All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us this evening. Thank and, you. Uh, thank, thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Loved your set. It was awesome. Um, at this time, we'd like to plug our sponsor, Heyday Guitars. Heyday Guitars is an awesome guitar shop at 414 Brookstown Avenue. You should come by and check it out. Michael will hook you up with an awesome guitar or amp. Um, if you like this, uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and uh, let us know uh, what we could do better or uh, what you think, and um, check us out next time. Uh, I'm Hudson. Thank you.